Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Moore here and we are streaming live our Pokemon Egglock. How are you guys doing today? Dang it, I messed something up here. <clears throat> but um what we're doing today is we're continuing our Egglock, of course, and we are Okay, everything's good and recording. I had to make double sure. We're currently challenging the 8th gym. We kind of just walked straight in here. And I think we're going to go ahead and just straight up uh, start challenging. Kind of already have a game plan going into this. Sorry, hold on. I need to take something. Whew, there we go. Much better, much better. So, mic's working, shares are going, reacts good, um, stream is live, and we're going to go ahead and get our thing ready here, and I don't remember what order um, the battle thing is in, but I'm going to go ahead and lead off with the sun team here. Hopefully that one's first. Okay, here we go. So I finally got the the music to be fixed. So it's not blasting into my headphones. And y'all can still hear it. So everything's going good at that end. So if the music's too loud or too low, just let me know. And I could adjust the volumes on my end here. Alright, so first up we have... OXO. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Let's go ahead and battle. All right, Sebastian. Let's see what you got here. Gym trainer Sebastian sends out uh, Pelipper and Sligu. So not exactly what I had in mind, but definitely uh, something we can go ahead and knock out here. So I'm gonna switch out to Alice in Venusaur spot. And I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Shelly over here. Because Shelly is water absorb... Uh, uh, not water absorb. Storm drain. So any water type attacks will get nullified to us. We'll take it in and our special attack will boost. And if Alice gets hit with the hurricane, it won't be as bad. <clears throat> Okay, so Pelipper goes ahead and, get, uh, goes ahead and goes for that uh, Tailwind. Dragon Pulse goes into Alice, which isn't bad. And we can go ahead and spark the Pelipper. And she needs to stop thinking about camping and get her ahead in the game and attack the Sligu. Okay, so the Supersonic Mist. Dragon Pulse goes into Shelly here, which shouldn't do much. Spark pops off against his Pelipper, so Pelipper goes down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And Earth Power should do a good chunk to the Sligu. Alright, not as much as I was hoping for, but I guess we didn't get that special attack boost. So that could explain that. But we do get a little bit of leftovers recovery here, and we can go ahead and go for the play rough and another earth power to knock it out. Now I gotta see if I have ice beam, because that could really help us out there. Alright, so play rough does connect, Sligu goes down, and that's the first gym trainer taken care of.
All right, so Sebastian, we're done with you. Let's go ahead and see what the next person has in store for us. Hopefully this one is a Sun Team. But I have a bad feeling it's going to be the last one. So let's make sure we're all healed up to be prepared for anything. Let's go ahead and see if we have Ice Beam as well. We have Icy Wind. Mm. It doesn't appear so. So Icy Wind's going to have to do for us for now. Which is still good. So Body Slam's going to get replaced. Alright, Icy Wind is learned. Oh shit, I forgot to heal up. So let's go ahead and just pop these super potions off. And that should be enough, you know, to get us comfortable. So let's go ahead and talk to this chick here and see what happens. Alright guys, for those who are watching on YouTube, uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and if you want to check out our streams live, we are always on Facebook Wednesday and Saturday around 8 p.m. Um, welcome to the stream. I was just talking about if uh, people were to watch. Oh, dang. What am I doing? Okay, so the Sun Team is here. Sprout does not want to be out here. So we're going to go ahead and switch to uh, Shelly here. And then we're going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Breath on Turtonator. No, let's go ahead and go for the Air Slash on Ninetales. So Sprout's going to avoid all those fire type attacks that Shelly can soak up, I'm, I'm sure, due to the four time resistance. And Charizard, I think, might be solar powered. Does a good amount of damage. Okay, so Rock Tomb comes off on Champ, which is devastating. <laughs> Whew. And we are solar powered, so that Air Slash did do a good chunk. So that four times effective move is what we're worried about. We're going to go ahead and Earth Power the Ninetales. And switch in Sprout to take that uh, Rock Tomb. Because we're not trying to lose our Charizard the stream after we just lost our Lycanroc. So Will-O-Wisp off into Shelly again, which is fine because we're a special attacker. Earth Power pops off, so we're faster than Terminator for sure. And let's see what the Terminator goes for here. Goes for Rock Tomb, of course. So, good thing we switched out the Charizard there. Okay, now we are going for... Shelly is dozing and seems to be falling asleep. We're still going to go for the Earth Power here. And we're going to go for a Toxic. Okay, so Shell Trap... We're not directly attacking it, so it, it, may, it might not go off, but if it does, Venusaur may be in a bit of trouble here. Oh, no worries, because Turtonator goes down to one hit. Welcome, viewer. Welcome to the stream. Please leave a like, a share, and comment to, you know, join in on the stream. The weather's fickle. Victory and defeat, even more fickle. Hey, as long as you win, you're good, right? So, that's two down, one more to go. So, this last one should be ice, I believe. But let's go ahead and heal up here. Sprout needs to gain some health. 
And do I have a full heal? Yes. So Shelly gets the full heal off here. And I'm assuming Ice is next. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out uh, Heracross for Sprout. So Dim is coming in. Alright, Gym Trainer Aria. So yeah, she's sending out the sun, I mean the hell. And this is a very interesting sight. An Obama Snow here paired with the hakamo -O, setting up the hell. We're going to go ahead and go for the Aerial Ace on the hakamo -O, And we're going to go ahead and Heat Wave to hit both. So Heat Wave connects, knocks out a Bomb of Snow, of course, and does great damage to the hakamo -o. And then Dim should be faster than a hakamo -o, but we'll just have to see. Aerial Ace goes off and does just enough damage to knock the hakamo out. So we're off to a beautiful start. Welcome, Jaden Barr. How are you doing today, man? Thank you for the like. Alright, Dim is leveling up, so everyone's getting to about level 50. So we are on par for this gym. So that's a good thing. And we'll go ahead and see what, how we can do against Ryan. Because obviously he's the gym leader, so he's the real test of our double battle strengths here. And we all know he likes the sand, so we're going to go ahead and leave Shelly here with our newly added Icy Wind. And let's go ahead and go Bolsom here. I believe we had uh I believe we had a Sylveon in our last playthrough going through here. I believe. I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh we did, because uh it would still wing us with uh Flygon. But somehow, some way, we got out of it with uh, Toxtricity last. But this time, I think we're better prepared and have a more well-rounded team to challenge Ryan. 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 I guess Ryan, right? And that's the way you would pronounce his name. And that's the way I'm gonna pronounce it. So Ryan sends out a Gigalith and a Flygon, of course. And we're sending out Gastrodon and Sylveon. So as of right now, we have the type advantage here. Sandstream, of course, goes off. And we're going to go ahead and Icy Wind here. That should potentially knock out the Flygon. And then we can Moonblast the Gigalith. Either way, I'm not too worried about what... Um, Breaking Swipes does. So our attack fell, which is fine. Moonblast is a good amount to Gigalith. And Icy Wind slows him down for sure. And does not take out Flygon, but does a really good amount of damage. So, I mean, that works out for us. Walk Blast goes off. Let's see how many it gets. One, two, two is enough. So that knocks us down to about a quarter health. I mean, three quarter health. And Shelly recovering knocks us back to about, you know, one eight, one six, one eight. Jeremy Stewart, welcome to the stream, man. Missed you on the last one. All right, we're going to go ahead and go uh, muddy. No, you know what? Let's, let's not risk the miss. Let's risk the miss. Let's go ahead and go Earth Power here on Gigalith. And let's do Draining Kiss to Flygon to get some of that health back. Alright, so due to that Icy Wind, Flygon is slower, which helps us out with speed. We get our heal back right here. Alright, Shelly levels up one, which is really going to help us out in this next part here. Earth Power goes off. Okay, so right now we're in a pretty good spot. 
So Bolson here is going to have to deal with uh, his next steel type dragon, Duraludon. There we go. I couldn't think of the name. We're going to have to deal with Duraludon here with Sylveon and take a few hits. And of course, Sandaconda is going to make it to where Luxray wouldn't be a safe switch in. But I think we can combat that pretty well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go Max Geyser. Obviously that's not super effective to Duraludon, but we're going to try to take the Sandaconda out. And we're going to switch out here to Charizard because we can pretty much take any move Duraludon would like to send our way. Especially Steel, which would be ideal. Alright, bring the storm. He's bringing the storm, alright. The sandstorm. So, we're, we should be able to get the, the weather changed here. But let's see exactly what he decides to do. Duraludon, obviously Gigantamaxing. Okay, I, I, I was scared for a minute. I was like, did we not Dynamax? Whew, that would have been bad. Now you're good, Jeremy. I understand. Life happens. Okay, so Gastrodon are Shiny Shellos. Shelly is Dynamaxing here. And I still haven't given my Pokemon Dynamax candies, which is probably hurting us. Alright, so we take that pretty well. I think it's resisted. Yeah, it is. So their defense raises, but we have special attackers on the field, so let's see how that goes. So we have Max guys are going off. This should take out Sandaconda, and it does. And we should have weather in our advantage here. I don't think Sand Spit goes off if it. Okay, so it does go off. Never mind. That's annoying. Okay, so that kind of renews it, I guess. But Champ should still be able to take any move this thing goes for. Um, would it go for a dragon move here? I'm actually going to go ahead and risk it. Because I'd rather Balsam take the hit than Charizard. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Ooh, that would have been bad. I'm going to go ahead and change the weather again. This is going to help us out in the long run, just, you know, just in case. And again, I'd rather have Bolsom take the hit than Charizard. So Charizard's coming back. Obviously, a still type move shouldn't be coming in. And Max Rock Fall, of course. Great job on our part to take out Charizard. Max Geyser changes the weather, so it's not going to have special defense boost anymore. Thank you very much, Jeremy, for sharing. That always helps out the chat. I mean, the, the stream. We actually have 81 followers now, so we just need 19 more. Slowly and surely chipping away at that uh, need for followers. So I appreciate all the offer sharing and helping us reach our goal. Alright, we're going to go ahead and switch out uh, Alice here to take the still type move. I'm assuming it's coming. And max ground should be enough to take this thing out from here. Okay, so yeah. Max still spikes comes out. We take that no problem because it's uh, resisted. Max Quake comes off. Our starter. Our Shelly the Shiny Shellos does the damn damage right there and takes down the Duraludon. Gigantamaxed and all. Ryan is in disbelief. We just took out his whole team without a single death.
the gym challenger, Joe Zamora, is victorious. Raihan has been defeated. I may have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should just snap a quick selfie. Yeah, go ahead and do that, you pathetic lot. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel pure and refreshed as the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say, calling myself Leon's rival? Seems I'd grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want, then. The proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. Joe Zamora has received the Dragon Badge. He has now completed the Gym Challenge. He can now go and step forth for the Champion Tournament. Alright, guys. I think that's going to be our next initiative here is making our way downtown, walking fast, faces fast, to the champion tournament. And breaking swipe is what we get here. <laughs> Good one, Jeremy. And we get the dragon uniform, which is, you know, aesthetically nice. And then Hop came to lose to Ryan, so... That's always fun. Have a look around Hammerlock and see what it has to offer. So that means there's going to be cutscene here. Alright, so we get to meet up with Sonya and Professor Willow, I believe. I forget her name. She's, uh... Oh, Magnolia. There we go. She's very non-important. But, um, she's gonna go ahead and retire right in front of us and give the coat to her darling niece, granddaughter, whatever. And she is now Professor Sonia. So Magnolia can finally retire and die under a Magnolia tree. Yeah, I don't care for Hop either. He's kind of annoying. But, uh, let's see... Town map, but where can I fly to? Oh, take the train. I gotta go to the train station over here. And then we can get another encounter. I think before the champion tournament, we're gonna go back and uh, try to get all the... Uh... God damn it, he lost to Hop. Hop lost to Ryan already. Well, I guess Raihan lost, but whatever. Let's go. I just want to get to the Champions Tournament so I can beat you there. Honestly, guys, I'm kind of pumped and ready for the Breath of the Wild playthrough I'm planning on doing. And then, uh, I think I'm going to be doing a Pokemon Conquest... I'm going to try to 100% Pokemon Conquest at the same time. So I'll be doing like 30 minute episodes maybe on YouTube alone. Um, I will be uploading the link here. So y'all will still get, you know, first hand uh, links right to it. Also guys, I made a group page for my most dedicated followers. So y'all can interact and share memes and stuff there. Uh, I, I would make a Discord, but I'm not much of a Discord user. So I figured having a Facebook group specifically for uh, Zamora Gaming would uh, be better. <laughs> yeah, he probably just gave him the badge out of pity. Alright, so we catch a snow on the first try, thanks to the quick ball. So we have another Pokemon we can uh, gain from there. And we're going to go ahead and switch out. Uh, let's put Dim up front. Dim hasn't had much of a uh, time to shine as of late. All right.
right, so first off, we have a Gardevoir to face with Dim. Not the best first matchup for us. But we're going to go ahead and go for Throat Chop here. Ooh, good amount of damage. Calm Mind. And since we're faster, it shouldn't be an issue. We're going to go ahead and Throat Chop again. That's a weird thing, too. Most of the things uh, Dim is good against, he's also weak against. So, like, he's good against Psychics, but we get demolished by Psychic-type moves. He's good against Rock-types, but, you know, that's neutral, effective to us. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Thrash, I guess, for Swords Dance. Because, I mean, Swords Dance could come in handy. We're not going to give Sprout Double Edge because he's a special attacker. Alright, so that was simple enough. We go ahead and beat this guy. But uh, it seems like nurses in these games don't heal us up like they did in the past. Let's go ahead and take on this dude and see what he has to offer. And I know there's a double battle coming up that's going to be pretty tough. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so Steelix is here now. And Dim has an amazing fighter type move to use. Let's go ahead and Swords Dance. Let's get greedy here. What can we do? Swords Dance goes off and he goes for a curse. So he has a plus one defense, but we are more in attack than he is in defense due to our times two. He only gets a plus one. Uh, plus two. He only gets a plus one. So, Brick Break should still be doing a amount of, good amount of damage, and we, I guess the hell breaks his potential sturdy. Oh, and Brick Break does the damage. Goes down. Steelix is out. So, let's go ahead. Oh, man. What am I? Ugh. There we go. Whew. All right, guys. My thing was acting up. <clears throat> but we're good to go. Dim is still going, and he has that plus two attack. He has a Mudsdale coming in. And I'm not too sure what he could have, but let's just go ahead and go for the stab brick break. Oh, and Mudsdale goes down in one hit as well. Alright, so everyone's growing pretty good levels. I don't think I'm going to be grinding too much in this area. Well, I mean, from here on out, I'm pretty much just going to battle the trainers in this area. Excuse me. Oof. Battle the trainers in the area and then just kind of challenge the Champions League from there. Because we don't want to be too overleveled either. I think, um... They get to like level 55, 58. And I don't mind being under leveled for that at all. Alright, so Ronald sends out a Weavile here. And we can simply Brick Break. We do have a lot of damage on us, but I think we should be fine. We resist Dark type moves, and Ice type moves don't, I don't think would do enough damage. Still type, we resist as well because we're fighting. Oh wait, we don't resist it, but it doesn't do much. Brick Break does the work and Weavile goes down. Alright, well how's y'all's day been going? My day's been pretty chill. I can't complain about it. Oh, you know what? I should have switched out. This is a Claydol. I'm going to go ahead and go to sprout here that's a stupid move too huh it's gonna go for psychic okay extra sensory let's see how much that does okay not 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 a worrisome amount so I'm gonna go ahead and stay in here and just go for the pedal blizzard Not enough to take out the clay doll. It gives us another ex uh, extra sensory. 
But the hell should take it out here. And down goes Claydol. So now we can uh, start healing up our Pokemon after this battle. Yeah, Jeremy, stressful is as stressful does. I feel you on that one. All right, let's see here. Uh, it's nothing. Let's go ahead and heal up. Uh, Hyper Potion to Sprout. Super Potion to Dim. And we're going to go ahead and work our way to the next spot over here. So we battle a Mailman and the Blizzard. So Postman Harper sends out a Pelipper. And Dim does not want to touch that thing with a 10 foot pole. So we're going to go ahead and switch out here. Alice, it's up to you. I could have also went, um... Damn. Blanked. I could have also went Shelly there. But, you know, not worth the risk, I guess. Let's just go ahead and spark it up and knock this thing out. Even with the rain boost, it doesn't do nearly enough. Pelipper goes down, though. Alright, next up we have a Noctile coming out. And I feel a Spark should be able to take this thing out, too. So what do you guys think? Do we lose anybody during this uh, Champions Tournament? Or do you think we kind of sweep it? I, I like our team the way it is right now. I think we pretty much nail it. All right, let's see. Super Potion, Alice, all the way to health. Yeah, I'm hoping we sweep too. Alright, and I should have switched out already. I didn't think that one through. But Cabby Goffrey, Geoffrey, Jeffrey, sends out a Corviknight here. And obviously we're switching out here. This is not a matchup we want to deal with. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and go to champ here. Flamethrower, this sucker. So, Drill Pit goes off, and we take it pretty well. We are seven levels above, so shouldn't be too big of an issue here. Corviknight goes down. Next. On to the next one. So since I'll fly gone, we're gonna go and switch out here to Bolsom. Cause Bolsom doesn't have anything that wants to take us on. Oh, I pushed the wrong move. Not baby doll eyes. Draining kiss time. Ooh, and a mighty earthquake. Still doesn't do enough damage. And draining kiss goes off. Oh, 
all the way back to full health and Flygon goes down. Alrighty guys, we're working our way through this. I know it's a lot of battles and it's a little tedious here. But we're making our way through it. Uh, let's avoid that. Is there any items over here that we can pick up? PP! We got PP up. PP Pincher. I do not want to battle. I, I do not want to visit this dude's thing. Uh, that could be a tedious battle. We're going to go ahead and just move Sprout up. I feel like this is going to be uh, a ground type battle. I don't really want to battle. Then don't. Oh, you know what? This might have been a bad move. Oh no, it's Gigalith. Okay. Woo. So Sprout comes in. Let me see what Sprout can do. What can Sprout do for you? Oh, uh, he could pedal blizzard this bitch off my screen. Eh, special defense boost it does half. Iron defense though. Coming off. Petal Blizzard goes off again, and it lives! Alright, Stealth Rocks goes off, so we're certainly not bringing Charizard into this battle. And we're gonna go ahead and go for another Petal Blizzard here. Oh man. And with us tonight, we have a special guest. Uh, silence. Sacred silence. Sacred silence. How's it going, Sacred Silence? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Doing good. As you can see, we're doing a little Pokemon Egglock stream, and we got to deal with the Rhydon here. Yeah, Petal Blizzard, but his special defense boost is up, and it's not enough. Rhydon goes down. What do you think of the team so far? It's pretty, it's pretty good. I mean, it looks balanced. If I would change anything, I feel like Sylveon would be changed. What would you switch it out for? I'd switch it out for a, a Grimmsnarl. Oh, a Grimmsnarl? No one sent in a Grimmsnarl yet, so... Uh, Unlucky for us, we can't do that. But, I mean, Sylveon's still been putting in the work. As you can see, it's our highest level at the moment. Alright, and Jeremy cannot wait for his Absol in the new DLC release. What Pokemon are you most excited for, Sacred? Uh, DLC release. The new Legendaries. The new Bird Legendaries. Oh, okay. Well, what about the returning Pokemon? Returning Pokemon? Nido King, Garchomp, okay, Metagross. I would definitely get <laughs> Yeah, that's my number one I'm ready to get back. I'm also ready to get back Garchomp and Metagross. I'm hoping somehow, some way, they bring back uh, Mega Evolution. I mean, they're not. I know, but, you know, there's always a, a dream to have that done. And believe it or not, the DLC is only 12 days away. Yep, October 22nd. <laughs> All right, so we got Fallings coming on the field, and Charizard should be able to handle that as well. You have both, don't you? I do have both. Air Slash goes off and kills the Phalanx. Phalanx is a disappointing Pokemon. I wish was a lot better. It does have an Omni Boost, but then the Omni Boost traps it. Which, you know, isn't the end of the world, but it kind of makes it obvious whenever you bring it out that you're going to set up with it and kill. 
And I don't believe it has enough coverage moves to make it good enough to be able to just do that. Your thoughts? Um, you're pretty close to getting 100. Subs. Yeah, we just need uh, 19 more people to follow, and we will have 100 followers. So I'm just waiting on that. And Did you do anything special? Yeah, I'm gonna stream. <laughs> no. Oh, Jeremy, that's awesome, man. Nine days of your birthday. Happy early birthday. I'll try to remember the day of. Uh, I certainly won't be streaming that day, though. I think that'll be on a Monday. Alright, so we have two Pokemon coming in. We got a Heliolisk and a Kling Kling. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and switch out Dim. I mean, Dim with Sprout. And we're gonna switch out Balsam with Shelly. And see what happens here. Oh, sweet. I guessed it right. Monday it is. Well, at least that'll be one Monday that'll be good. Ooh, Thunder comes off on Dim and does a, a whopping amount of damage. Also gets the paralysis. Uh-oh. And that Kling Kling is gift shearing. Shift. Ugh. Gear shifting. So it's plus two speed and plus one attack. So we're gonna have to certainly deal with that real quick. We can't switch out Dim just for the sole fact that electric moves might be coming in. And Alice isn't gonna have anything we wanna take down uh, Kling Kling with. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get this Earth Power off on Kling Kling because Heliolisk isn't as much of a threat. Because it can only attack one of our Pokemon, but Kling Kling can certainly knock out both. And he's gear grinding. So that's automatic two hit on Dim. Thunder goes off. And it connects again. Heracross is in for a world of pain. But it lives it. Yes. Earth Power comes off and knocks out that pesky Kling Kling. No more having to deal with that. Champ wants to learn Inferno, but we're not going to learn that move. Heliolisk gets pelted by hell, as everyone else. Okay. Well, so far, so good. Token tomorrow comes in. And that's certainly going to be an annoyance. Uh, Dim, we need to fully heal you somehow. Oh, and we have just one max potion to do it. So Dim is going to be fully healed here. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Earth Power on Toga tomorrow. So it's two versus one. Zing Zap comes off. And I think Hilo is just trying to thunder our Gastrodon. But that wasn't happening. So Toga tomorrow goes down. Gastrodon again with the Earth Power. And we are in a very good spot here. So Dim, able to live anything but a critical thunder, is going to stay in here. And just heal up. No point in risking it for the biscuit, because Earth Power should be able to knock Heliolisk out from this point. Alright, so he did at least decides to go for Mud Slap on Shelly. Lower our accuracy. But Earth Power misses! Oh no! I thought it was going to connect! 
Uh, so, uh, 100 to 90, and it, it already missed. Well, at least now we can double attack into the Heliolisk due to Dim being at better health now. So let's go ahead and Brick Break and Earth Power. One of us has got to connect. Thunder goes off and connects on the Her Heracross. But again, we're still at a pretty good amount of damage here. And we miss again and Para! Oh man, this is not a good sequence of events here. So Dim is going to keep getting lower on the HP bar. Shelly is going to keep missing for some goddamn reason. But we are not going to stop attacking. Brick Break and Earth Power. One of them's got to land. And Dim avoided the thunder. Shelly goes for the Earth Power. And down goes Heliolisk. Man, that made me a little nervous with the health bar going down so slow. No, oh, I already do the level cap. I just don't do the one where you can't use items during the battle. Eh, maybe for my next one, but I don't think I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke for a little while. I think the next playthrough I do will be uh, Zelda. So I'm going to be going from uh, Pokemon to Zelda. Rocket League? Yeah, it's that, uh, that car game where you play soccer. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. I've seen the gameplay. It's actually pretty interesting. Oh, Balsam handles that hurricane pretty well. Good thing we switched out the Heracross there. And Noivern goes down to the icy wind. And I think Rocket League is in, uh... I think Rocket League is more of a, like a one-time stream thing. I don't think it's a series type deal. <clears throat> but, you know, certainly it would be kind of fun to play at least once or twice. I want to for sure play it sooner or later. It looks pretty interesting. Fortnite. Oh, really? I didn't know Fortnite owned it. That's why it's Ah, okay. Well, sir, is it on Switch? All right. Well, I'll certainly be downloading Rocket League at least. But um, all right, guys, we made it past Route 10, finally, and now we can start getting towards the, the Champion Tournament. Oh, cutscenes. And I do know, like, this last part of the game is pretty dragging because they always have, like, little interruptions to where it makes it longer than it really needs to be. So, let's just see if we can get through all that stuff here. Thank you for the likes, everybody. I really appreciate it. Follow if you haven't. Share if you can. It showed someone liked, so the little like things went up in the air on the phone. Tell Will and Christian to check it out. Oh, really? Were they there when I picked you up? Mm. Alright, well, let's go ahead and find some items real quick because I know there's some pretty cool items around here somewhere. You know, interesting enough, no one ever sent me a Rotom. I think Rotom is a pretty cool, interesting, uh, what do you call it? Playthrough Pokemon, because you kind of change up its typing as you go. But in this game, you can't change it until now. What was you, Jeremy? I kind of forgot what I was saying. Oh, you, you you did the like. Well, thank you very much for the like. Alright, so I'm not too sure about the other items and stuff. Well, let's just go ahead and come this way. Ooh, 
item right here. Black Sludge. That could come in handy. Might be better on uh, Venusaur than what I have on it right now. Was there something I had to do? Okay, so I gotta go to Winden Stadium. But what is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's certainly gonna be better on uh, Sprout than Rocky Helmet. So let's go ahead and check out Winden Stadium here. It's annoying because I was right there. I didn't even think about going that way. I think we gotta do like the qualifier round and then we get to do the champion champion tournament. Oh boy. So we're going ahead and jumping in and seeing what happens here. Okay, of course, Hop is waiting at the front. And we see Marnie here. So this should be a pretty interesting interaction. But hold on. Gotta pour me some soda. Let's go ahead and sign up for the champion tournament. Hop has a little heart to heart with the character. And we're officially signed up and ready to go for the semifinal champions tournament. Now we're going to go ahead and start out with our favorite Pokemon, or at least mine, Charizard. The Undertaker, the Charizard. Oh no, I'm gonna give it to your girl pretty hard. Your girl's gonna feel every little bit of pain that I give to her right now. Danny Mac, welcome to the stream, buddy. How you doing today, man? Alright, Marnie, get ready to feel the pain. Undertaker's gonna take you down to the bottom floor of hell. Yeah, she should be used to it, right? She has dark types. And there is that infamous Marnie music that everyone likes to talk about. <laughs> run, Marnie, run! She's pretty bold. She thinks she's going to win this. But Flamethrower is going to come off and say otherwise. She goes for the nasty plot here, which she always does, but never really seems to work out in her favor. And Champ, of course, comes out with that mighty Flamethrower and takes out the Lightbird with a crit. Yeah, man, I'm glad you got to join in for tonight. I'll be streaming for a little while. I want to try to get through the rest of this game, hopefully. So... I'll be on for a while. More Picos coming in, and with that type advantage, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, Shelly the Shiny Shellos. Because Earth Power is real in this game. So more Pico comes out here, and I'm only assuming she's going to go for a Dark type move now. And Shelly's being a... Oh, what is that? Bullet Seed? Let's not hit that five times. Wow. That was a very interesting move on Morpico's part. I didn't even know it got Bullet Seed. But crisis averted. We were able to take out that Morpico, no problem. Okay, so she's sending out a Scrafty here, and we have the perfect Pokemon to go up against it. We got Bolsom. Alright, so Scrafty comes in, and we're just gonna go for a Draining Kiss. 
Uh, you know what? We're gonna be faster. Let's just go ahead and go for the moon blast. And this should take out the Scrafty, no problem, and it does. What Pokemon does she have left? We will find out. If it's the Grimmsnarl, I'm gonna go ahead and stay in. Alright, so it is a Toxicroak. I'm just gonna switch out to Champ here and go for that Mighty Air Slash. Yeah, you know, I, I might have been expecting that if this is a draft league battle, but that bullet seed came in clutch for her almost. Uh, that would have sucked to lose a uh, Gastrodon for sure, because that's the Pokemon we got as our starter for this playthrough. Toxicroak goes for the Sucker Punch. Not going to do enough damage. Air Slash should knock it out. And then we will have a Battle of the Titans with a Gigantamax Grimmsnarl versus our Bolsum Sylveon that we will Dynamax versus it. And we're going to go ahead and smack this thing up pretty good. I really like the way Shiny Grimmsnarl looks with the white instead of the black. I don't know. just gives it a different feel to it, like a majestic look. And let's go ahead and give off a max starfall to this dark fairy type. And our shine and our giant shiny, our giant pink puppy is ready to fight. My bro might not use it, but Gigantamax time! Calm down there, pigtails. Alright, so Grimmsnarl is Gigantamaxed. Let's see how much our Max Starfall does. And it does enough to knock it out. That's for sure. Down goes Grimmsnarl. And we have beat Marnie once again. Oh, uh, Jeremy, uh, for, are you talking about for, um, gym? The gym leagues? And we are victorious! Round one of the tournament. Alright, so Marnie gives her piece, and we can go ahead and take a quick break here. Heal up our Pokemon, and be ready for the next match. And it looks like we're going to be fighting Hop. And if that is so, we're going to go ahead and put Dim up front. Yep. Hop is who we're fighting. And Jeremy, um, we might do single types next. I don't know. It just kind of depends on what everyone wants to do. So that, that'll be a decision, you know, at the time of not, you know, not this far ahead when we're still doing this gym challenge. All right, Hop is ready to lose, so we're going to go ahead and hurry into this battle here. He still wants to be his big brother, but we can't allow it, because that means he would have to beat us. And we are no losers, so sorry, Hop, but you're going down. Kevin, welcome to the stream, man. If you haven't followed yet, please do so. Leave a like and a share if possible. All right, Trainer Hop sent out a dub wall. So of course we knew normal type was coming out first. So we're gonna go ahead and use Dim's Brick Break here. 
And also, guys, I would like to give a quick reminder. If you are watching on YouTube post live stream, um, you can always watch live streams here on uh, on Facebook in the link below. Leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also to my Facebook. Please follow. We're trying to get 200 followers on Facebook so we can start trying to get monetization for the streams and I can stream more often put out more content to make it more pleasurable for you to watch alright so we do take out that double in one hit and Corviknight's coming in so we're gonna go ahead and switch out to champ here so champ comes in against hops Corviknight and flamethrower should do the job And I'm sorry about the little higher levels we're at, but, um, I cert- oh man, push the wrong button. But, um, certainly didn't try to be this high level, but I do know we have to be around level 58 for the Leon battle, or it's gonna be a pretty big pain. So, you know, it is what it is at this point. So our attack sharply rose, but we are not physical attackers. So this confusion is only here to benefit him, and it does. Ooh, a critical hit drill pet comes off. But let's see if our flamethrower can connect this time instead of us hitting ourselves. And it comes off. Flamethrower straight to the belly of that Corviknight, and we're having roast chicken for dinner. Everyone gets a few levels, and Pink Kirchen is next up. Let's go ahead and go to Shelly here, who's completely resistant to electric types. And we can go ahead and Earth Power this thing. Also, guys, if y'all have been keeping up with the PML draft, um, I do not have a battle this week, so that's why you haven't, you won't see my battle uploaded on Sunday. So, there's that. But we do take out the pink curtain with one hit. So Snorlax comes back in, we go back out to Dim, and we get off that expert belted brick break. Plus stab. Alright, so Snorlax is in front of us, and Brick Break goes off. This should take it out in one hit. And it does! Snorlax is no match for Dim. Alright, and Rillaboom is coming in. And our number one choice versus a Rillaboom is half, is half health. But Dynamax Charizard should still be able to do the work. So let's go ahead and take this thing out with the Max Airstream. Yeah, it does the same amount of damage. And it's still stab. We Gigantamax, or Dynamax here. I mean, we could Gigantamax, but we didn't make the soup. And now Hop is here to Dynamax. And Dynamax Rillaboom is in the house. Of course, we're hoping Charizard can take this thing out in one hit, so let's see how it goes. Max Airstream goes off. Rillaboom goes down, and we defeat Hop. So we did pretty good for the short bracket. So 
so nothing to be worried about there. Oh, and Hop is pissed. And now he's relieved. At least he doesn't have to be a loser anymore, right? So we have qualified for the Champions Tournament. And of course, Leon makes his extra ass entrance. And let's go ahead and do the next thing we need to do because this is where it kind of, you know, takes a detour from what we're trying to do. Oh no. Oh wait, does it? I don't know. What the map said and what this thing says it confuses me. Mm, okay, so here we go. Yeah. We do our little interview. Um, then I don't remember what happens. Damn, Hop said, fuck off, bitch. He's trying to sleep. Even Lee is never this late. Who are we waiting on? Oh, Pierce. What's up, Pierce? How's it going, buddy? Why? Where'd he go? Rose Tower. But why Rose Tower? I don't know. Something's happening. But I don't want to read all that stuff, so we're going to figure it out here in a second. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move on. Oh, I just realized that's a Roselia little thing right there. Hmm, pushed the wrong thing again. Jesus Christ. Tell map, tell me where to go. Okay, so I could have just walked forward. Yo, Piers, what's good, homie? Why am I here for this? I'm still exhausted with that night with Cho. I mean, battle. What a beautiful display of sibling love, however, is entirely unnecessary. Oh, here's this bitch. Miss Alinea. Do not go to Rose Tower. You will never get there. You will never find the key. This man has it. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but don't look for him. Should we look for him? Yeah, we should. <laughs> yeah, I think since he lost to us, he thinks he can tell us how to further our career now. And yeah, man, after I stream, you can most definitely challenge my team. It just depends on how late I stream. We're going at a good... We're already in a good hour in. I'm certainly going to try to uh, get through this game if possible. But I'm not going to force it. Don't want to stay up too, too late. Oh, here we go. I remember this now. You gotta f finally talk to him and try to battle him like, what, four times? Three times? Yep, and he's a still type user too. So Dim can kind of just brick break our way through here. That's cool, Jeremy. Um, I'm certainly going to give it my all every time, so good luck. But if you can defeat me, that, that's a plus, man. I'm not going to say I'm the best battler in the world, but I did rank number two in Geeks. So, there's that. And I always make the playoffs in my draft leagues. 
Well, most of the time. There's very few times I don't, but most of the time it's doubles I don't. So, you know, I'm not a double battler. I, I've made it clear and obvious. <laughs> so, if you ever see me struggling in a battle, it's probably a double battle. Alright, so he's kind of pissed off that um, he lost to us. <clears throat> now he's going to go right and hide again. That guy ran real fast, governor. How are we going to find him again? Here he is. Why is he talking to this couple here? I'm a filthy casual with a decent amount of experience. I'm nowhere near professional level. <clears throat> That's for a fact. I'm pretty much mediocre at every game I play. I'm just good enough to beat most people, but not good enough to beat some people. Alright, so x girl comes in. And we get a boost. Defense and special defense. You go, Marnie. Back us up, girl. Alright, so Dim finally gets a bug type move. We're going to switch it out for. Uh... Ah. Throat chop. Pretty much attacks the same Pokemon. And Eric is defeated again, and we gotta defeat him once more. Here I am, calling someone in a booth. Telephone! Alright, now we gotta battle him one more time, and then we can go to Rose Tower. Um, defeat the commissioner there. Then, after that, I think we can finally do what we need to do at the Champions Tournament. Get interrupted, or something like that. I don't know. There's still a lot to do, I guess. But I am down to clown. Bless you! Yeah, I knew you sneezed there at home. I'm just kidding. I'm saying bless you to my wife. She sneezed in the room. Steelix goes down. And Eric is getting beaten up pretty good here. Oh man, depending on how late I stream, do y'all guys think I should stream some more Fortnite? I mean, obviously I try to split those videos up on the actual YouTube channel. But we'll see. Alright, so we can finally move on to the Rose Tower. They don't know which one it is. And all them crooked ass people ain't gonna tell us. But Piers has a plan. Damn, you pulled that mic out of nowhere. Oh my god, isn't that Piers? Yeah, let's go listen to Piers. Oh my, look at Piers. Let's record them on our phones and miss this experience that we're having in real life. Oh, and these zigzagoons want to rock out with their tongues out. And everyone runs downstairs! Damn, almost everyone got trampled on there. Piers is like, you got it, dudes! I'm just like, alright, let's do it. 
Cha-cha-cha! Alright, so this is the battle tower. I guess it's Rose Tower, in a sense. But to me, it's just battle tower. Oh, then why fucking ask? Oh, Miney's gonna give us a kiss. Yes, Miney. Oh, wait, no, it's Pierce. He pulled the mic out of his butt. That's what it looked like. I kind of wanted to get the items that were laying around before walking into the... Okay, oh, I can. Woohoo! Rare candy. That was an air balloon somewhere, right? Ooh, piece of candy. Huh? <laughs> Actually, it's not. But, you know, I just picked up a rare candy, so technically... Ooh, a piece of candy. What's over here? Your love, your love, your love... Is something. PP bottle up. More PP ups. Get away from me, Hop. I'm not ready yet. I want to look around. Give me them items, boy. Ooh, electric seat. So a lot of electrical shit going on around here. Eerie impulse, electric seed, rare candy. I guess it's not electric, but you know. Boogie oogie oogie anyway. <clears throat> okay, so he's just waiting for me to go inside the building. <clears throat> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh my god, here we go. Now we gotta make our way up to like five different flights of floors. Alright. Elijah. All these people are still type users, it seems. And still type has such amazing coverage. It's ridiculous. I <laughs> found a piece of candy and a bottle of Viagra. Yeah, pee pee up, man. It's saying you can have your sweets, but that means your dick's gonna not be good. See, that's why females have it easier. They can eat all the candy they want and don't have to worry about that dick not being good. Their dick's not being good. I don't know. I misphrased that one. Alright, Rose it is. Let's go ahead and make our way up the elevator. It looks like we're going to have three battles. I'm just assuming because there's three doors. But you never know. So we have more people who are crooked. And we will defeat them all! Defeat them all! Defeat them all! Defeat them all! God dang it, man. So many freaking still types. I should have led with Charizard. Could have just heat waved everything. <clears throat> so double body slams into bronze on it's not gonna do much extra sensory of course oh it goes into double that's good Ooh, that is really good because that would have freaking killed us we can't miss a mega horn miss so we're gonna go to champ here
Alright, only one Pokemon, so let's just go ahead and flamethrower this thing. And down goes Bronzong, and we can move on to the next battle. I'm telling you, everyone is still type user, apparently, at Rose Tower. Especially Rose himself, that dingleberry. What even is that word? Dangleberry. What does it mean? Is that like dumbass? I wanna know. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, thank you, Hop. You held my Pokemon. Dingleberry. A foolish or inept person. A particle of fecal matter attached to the anal hair of an animal. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. So if you call someone a dingleberry, that means there's shit in your ass hair. Or there's shit in an a in ass hair. As well as a foolish person. Alright, so we got the cling cling. Uh, I don't think it gear shifts here. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to champ. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the heat wave. Body slam on Mawile. And it gets the para. That's two for two. So it does go for the shift gear, but I don't see it having anything to help really affect us. I don't think it's gonna have wild charge, so we should be good, but you're not fucking knowing this goddamn game. Let's go ahead and go for the heat wave here. Oh, and we're still faster! Cling cling, you a slow motherfucker. So that battle was as simple as pie, and that thing goes down. And I believe we have one more battle of two people to go. But I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I'm ready to just get to the top. Just like Ashley Tisdale in High School Musical. We're gonna bop, bop, bop to the top and wipe away our intuition. Bop, bop, bop to the top and stretch your stuff. Alright, it appears we have one more battle. <clears throat> Yo, Sam! Welcome to the stream, buddy. Please leave a like and a share if you possibly can. And keep me some company in the chat. As you can see, I'm singing High School Musical, so I ain't got shit to say. Alright, so we got Galarian, Stunfisk, and Steelix on the field. Let's go ahead and brick break the Steelix, and I don't think, uh, oh, it doesn't do enough damage, but Body Slam goes into the Steelix, oh, and it still lives it. Alright, I didn't see who avoided the attack, okay, so double avoided it, Dim's accuracy falls, Steelix uses Slam, goes into double, so we're fine. How you been, Sam? What you been up to, man? I'm gonna go ahead and break break the stun fist and hopefully uh, it takes it out. And it does! So any move double went for should attack the Steelix to take that thing out. And you know what? Okay, good. I did record. Whew! I was about to be pissed off at myself. I was about to say, I didn't record any of this stream. Oh, you're playing Among Us? That's awesome. I I am playing Pokemon, as you can see. I haven't played Among Us since, like, a week already. And I don't have it on my laptop, so... I can't stream it. But, if I get done... With this, not too late. I could probably join a game or two. 
But I mean, but I am trying to get through this final part of this uh, game right here. All right, so now we got Oceana. Or oh oh I can't think of a goddamn name. <clears throat> we got this annoying hoe right here. There's just so many still types. I'm just gonna put Charizard at the front. Cause still types have pretty high defense. And not special. Oh my god, she's losing her shit. Macrocosmos. Alright, so it's a nice type, so it's pretty good that... Awesome, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be up pretty late, too. So, good thing we didn't lead Heracross, because then we wouldn't have had nothing to hit this Frost last with. So, I'm gonna go for a Flamethrower. Okay, good. We're faster, so Destiny Bond's not an issue. Down goes the Frost last. The last of Frost. Mmm, how cheeky do things that hurt Pokemon. Bitch, you're over here losing your shit. I don't know what you want from me. But she is going to go Milotic here, so we're going to go uh, Alice. We get intimidated off, but doesn't help us. Especially since it's competitive. Ooh, that could hurt us. Let's just see how much spark does. Oh, and my Litic hangs on on one, but goes for safeguard. Lucky us. That one HP on my Litic goes down quickly. And let's see who she sends out next. Throat Chop does the same amount and could come in handy with, you know, simple shit. So I'm going to keep Throat Chop instead. And Salazzle's so coming in. Let's go ahead and go Shelly the Shiny Shellos. Let's go with our Tongue Twister Pokemon here. And let's go for the Earth Power for the Ensure Kill. Dragon Pulse comes off. Shouldn't do too much. But Earth Power should be a one-hit KO. And it is! The Lazo goes down. Alright, Serena comes in. Who hasn't seen the field yet? Let's go dim. <clears throat> We're gonna try to get everyone in on this battle. And now let's see our newly found Pokemon move here. And it misses! Of course it does. Uh oh, acrobatics! And dim goes down! No! Oh man, I did not expect an acrobatic, sir. That's tough. Alright, let's go uh, Balsam here. Welcome to the stream, guys. If you are enjoying, please leave a follow. We're trying to get to 100 followers. Alright, let's go ahead and go for the Moon Blast here. This should take it out, hopefully. No, it's especially bulky. I don't know why I thought it would take it out. And he goes for a track. Very interesting. Let's see if we fall in love. And the DJ is not playing any music because no one's falling in love again. Down goes Serena. And Moonblast is the thing to take it out. Alright, we have Garboder entering the field. And everyone but Sprout has seen the field. 
but Sprout has nothing to hit this guy Boater, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for Gastrodon to be safe. And just click uh, Earth Power. Yeah, baby, tonight the DJ got us falling in love again, but not a track. I noticed when I said that little line, I lost a viewer, so I was like, Oof. guess that wasn't the best thing to say there. Too cheesy, too cheesy. Rockfall. So good thing we don't have Charizard out here. Oh, pfft. he lived that like no problem. So Sam, what's your favorite Pokemon coming out in the new DLC? Coming back or new Pokemon? Go ahead and Dynamax here. Safely knock this thing out. Welcome to the stream, guys. If you're going to enjoy it, uh, go ahead and leave a follow. <clears throat> oh, well, they have those new legendary birds coming. They have that new deer Pokemon. Um, old returning Pokemon. I mean, you can play the DLCs without finishing the game. Like, uh, you can restart the game and start the DLC, like, as soon as you start. Oh, and Garboulder takes a hit. So, finally we beat Olenia, or Oceana, or whatever the fuck her name is. <clears throat> and down she goes. All I know is I'm ready for Needle King to make a return. Ah, this is inexcusable. What I think, what was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Typical Joe, you and your Charizard are unstoppable. Damn right. I should have screenshotted that shit. Lee, you never showed when we were supposed to, so I got worried and something bad happened and Marnie and this and that. And Joe's fucking Charizard was unstoppable. Rose, I must apologize to you. I have made a mistake and blah, blah, blah. He's going to pretend he's going to let this shit slide so the tournament can keep going. And then, <clears throat> whenever me and Leon finally battle, he's going to interrupt the battle. And then we're going to have to do this whole shit all over again. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We. No. I. Am going to change the course of history. You belong in a fucking jail cell, you hypocrite bitch. Ah, uh, this is it. Did you get enough sleep? You will be battling Leon, the number one trainer in the world. Oh my god, I don't need your help. Yes, yeah, take me to the stadium. Alright, let's see. Champ is not going to lead the way here. Let's go ahead and go Alice first. Why not? Alice has pretty good coverage. Uh, I don't need your help. I know how to register. 
I did it to kick your ass. Go get yourself checked in. I'm gonna get your mom checked into my bedroom. Oh my goodness, Joe! Yeah! Yes, yeah, so let's just get this thing over with. Oh, look, all the gym leaders. Well, I guess not all of them. There be two missing. Yeah, I'm ready. Come on, let's go. I ain't got time to talk to these fools. I'm ready to kick their ass. Hell yeah, Sam. Thank you for the share. Wait, you? Yes, me. Oh, who's that? It's Pede, the new fairy gym leader. Yeah, he got booted. And now he gets to come back to the gym challenge because he's a gym leader now. Ridiculous, I agree with. Now stop talking, dude. Just let me beat you already. Beat you with a stick. All right, gym leader Bead is ready to go. So the battle officially finally starts against Bead. And we share Intimidates. Um, she has Fairy types. Um, Luxray wasn't going to be able to do much to this thing. So I'm going to switch out to Charizard here. And none of its moves should be able to touch me too badly. We resist fighting. I mean, Fairy and... Well, we do resist fighting, but... We resist its fairy and skill type moves. Down goes Mawile. Alright, so God of War is going to come in now. And, I don't know, I guess Charizard's still a good Pokemon to be out with. <clears throat> eh, let's go Alice here. We don't want to clean sweep it, you know? Gardevoir comes out, and she's at 51. Again, I'm kind of upset I got too high of level, but, you know. It's only so so much we could do. Let's just go for Spark since it's neutral damage. Cause I mean all the moves are neutral. And another Spark. Oh, full restore. In long, in long the battle for no reason. Spark it up. Oh, it is paralyzed, so we're for sure faster now. Down goes Guardy. Alright, so Rapidash comes out here. Oh, we can't use Dim. That's right. Dim is dead. Alice is gonna stay in here. So good thing we haven't used that.
Go ahead and go for the throat chop here. Should be neutral damage. Psycho Gut comes off, but it's not too bad. Throat chop, though, did a good amount of damage. Alice is taking damage, but we are fine. Rapidash goes down. And we should be able to sweep the next Pokemon with Charizard here. What's with your calm expression? Do you think you're gonna win? Uh, yeah, dumbass. Your Pokemon are weak. Weak sauce. Max Flare, baby. Charizard's up in Dynamax versus this Hatterene. Of course, it's gonna Gigantamax, of course. Let's see how much damage we can actually do, if not take it all in one hit. And Hatterene is fully Gigantamaxed. Flare goes off and let's see how much this does. Ooh, good amount of damage there. It does about and 60%. Sunlight is harsh. Max Mindstorm goes off. It doesn't do quite enough. We are solar power, so it, we do lose a little bit of HP here. But also ensures our KO here. goes down oh. all right Charizard looking good beat is done who do we have to battle next all right beat is impressed Didn't you retire? Yeah, it was the old lady who retired, not me. Um, let's see if I can switch out Dim here. Because, uh... He did. So let's go ahead and add him there. Uh, ye Ikes. Mm. I mean, probably Bertha. We just level it up. We don't have a scary normal type. Ooh, sheer force. Um. I would add this one, but I can't evolve it. I don't have enough of the things for it. We got a water, we got a grass. Mm. We got a fire. You know what? Let's go ahead and add Tauros. Why not? Let's 
go ahead and level it up. Nope, no scary face. Let's do Zen Headbutt. And that's a good move. Tail Whip. And then we'll level it up with the two large candies and whatever rare candy we got. Man, you know what? I'm stupid. I had reserves. Eh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, there's not really anyone I wanted instead of El Toro anyway, so. El Toro, don't make me look bad. It's your time to shine, baby. I know one of these battles is going to come down to you. Sheer Force Body Slam. Go for Horn Attack. It, it'll lose its uh, chance to paralyze, but it'll d it'll increase its damage. I wonder if this is a sheer force move too. That's lame. It learns flamethrower, but not flare blitz. Flare blitz would be better. Mega horn. I mean, that could come in handy. So let's get rid of work up. What else can I learn? Revenge. Smart strike. Okay, it learns Whirlpool. That's interesting. It's dumb, but it's interesting. Eh, yeah, we'll be fine like this. Let's go ahead and lead Sprout here. You know, just change it up. Let's go ahead and see who's next. Alright, let's go ahead and challenge it on. So, now let's go ahead and, oh yeah, Venusaur was the perfect Pokemon. Nessa is here and ready to get smacked up. I'm going to vine whip that booty. Alright, so Nessa is ready to go. Dark skin, blue eyes. Make any man go wild. Whoa, Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm gonna wash your team away. What does that even mean? I don't know what she got against Sonya, but I'm gonna go ahead and go Shelly here. Feel a first impression coming on. Oh, swords dance. Very, very interesting. Let's go ahead. Excuse me. Earth power. 
Oh yeah, the resist is it because it's a bug type. Ooh, but liquidation is not gonna do anything for you, bub. And it's gonna do something for me. This earth power is gonna put you in emergency exit range. Okay, so sinking comes in now. I'm just gonna keep earth powering. Aqua ring, so the water removes itself. So our storm dream can't soak that up, but it's certainly gonna knock out the sea king here. Or not. I don't know why she wastes a full heal on the sea king. Accuracy's lower. And Earth Power should do the trick. Alright, that doesn't do much. Earth Power comes off and knocks out that Seeking. I wish Facebook would show who's still watching. That'd be cool. So I could talk to y'all personally. It just shows that two people are watching. Alright. First impression, of course. Not gonna go for the water move. And we're just gonna go for the earth power here. Knock this thing out. Down goes Galissapod. Sprout learns solar beam. That ain't enough. Get some leftover heals and Barrasquita is coming in and see what moves it has to give us. Well, to use on us. Earth power time. So it goes for Ice Fang, which is a decent move. It's neutral damage. And down it goes to a simple Earth power. Pelipper's coming in. We're switching to Alice. Alice can take this thing out with a simple spark. And then against the Dreadnought, we're going to be using our Venusaur Dynamax to take that thing out. Okay, so we move down to Spark, and let's see what happens. Pelipper goes down without a fight. Dreadnought comes in. Sprout goes out. We Dynamax and give it that max Grass or overgrowth. Max overgrowth. I'm stupid. But looking back, now I kind of wish I Gigantamax formed them. Because uh, that'd be kind of cool to see in a playthrough. Especially since they're using Gigantamax forms as well. So, max overgrowth. Four times effective move. Should knock this bitch out. And I don't think it's a. Uh, Rain dance either. I mean, it's not rain dance. I can't think. I don't think it's swift swim either, so we should be fine. Right. Gigantamax Dreadnought is entering the field. guys. What's up, Jeremy? Glad you're still watching the stream, man. Love that you show your support. 
Oh, max overgrowth coming off this Venusaur. Is it enough? It is! Dreadnought goes down! Ooh, wee, man. So, Jeremy, what's your favorite Pokemon game? You know, main series or side game? It's up to you to decide which one you'd pick. And we get the win versus Nessa! Pokemon are just too much. Even with the Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. You don't know. Oh man, I'm sure you played all of them. I played all of them almost. The only ones I haven't played were the GameCube ones. And I think uh, a couple of the Wii ones. I haven't played... I haven't played DX Girl of Darkness, which I wish I could play. I just never had it. Um, I've never played uh, Gills of Darkness. Maybe that's still DX. I'm not sure. I don't know. There, uh, I've never played Coliseum either. But trust me, I wish I could have. Um. Let's go ahead and switch to... Let's go Balsam here. I didn't look at the bracket. I should've. Like a dumbass, I didn't. But that could've gave us a hint on who we're battling next. Alistair! So, kind of a good thing we went uh, the route we went. Because we have Shadow Ball on it. Alright, Gym Leader Alistair sent out a Dust Noir. Pokemon X is a solid game. I love it. It's what introduced Mega Evolution and Fairy Typings. And it was just a fun game all around, honestly. Yeah. I mean, the starters were dope. Uh, Delphox was my least favorite, but, you know, everyone has their preferences. So that's pretty cool that you like it because of Delphox. Dustnor hangs on with about 1 or 2 HP, but it's because of a critical hit. Rock Tomb comes off to lower our speed, doesn't do a lot of damage, but we will take it out with this next Shadow Ball. Are we still faster? Don't know, because Alistair went ahead and used the full restore. Um. Oh, your, sh your Delphox is shiny. Is it legit or did you have it gin for you? But, um, my favorite Pokemon game main series? I don't know, man. It's pretty tough. I mean, every game has its quirk for me because of the mechanics. Um, story wise, I would have to say Gen 5. Uh, the second one. And, well, technically both of those two games combined. Because stories are so intertwined, I mean, you can't do much but keep them together. And, um... Oh, wow, man. So you hatched it from an egg. That's a Oh, it was bread for you. Yeah, I'm still trying to honestly try to get my first legit shiny Charizard. <clears throat> I, I streamed a while back me hatching eggs. And I haven't hatched any eggs since. So, I think I'm going to get back on that pretty soon. 
because nothing's better than a legit shiny. But, um, main series game, yeah, I would have to say Gen 5 is probably my favorite just because of storyline alone. And also, there was some pretty good Pokemon introduced in Gen, Gen 5. Escavalier is one of my top Pokemon from that gen. Um, Imbor, of course. Superior. Samurai was eh, it's okay. The design was kind of if. That's why. I mean, it. I'm sure if it had a better design, it would have been cool. Um, so this Pulte guy is pretty souped up at this point, and that's scary. Let's just go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball and see what we can do. I mean, that's all we can do at this point. Shadow Ball, Stab, not super effective. Oh, but it does quite a bit of damage. We get our Shadow Ball off. And Poltergeist, Poltergeist goes down. This teacup has been cleansed. Ooh, and Champ is a mighty level 60 over there. I didn't see what she was sending out next, but I am going to switch out regardless because Balsam has taken lots of hits. Yeah, Gen 4 remake would have been cool. It's coming. Don't worry. Trust me, it's coming. My band might not be the next game, but it's certainly coming. We're going to go for the max airstream here because Gengar is his ace. And I do, it's going to be a bitch to deal with. I just want to be able to outspeed it. But yeah, my my favorite main story game is Gen 5, of course. I just explained all that. And then, my favorite side Pokemon game would have to be Pokemon Conquest. I just adore that game. It's the only strategy game of its kind. Uh, that, well, Pokemon, of course. Uh, I know there's... Um, Fire Emblem and shit like that. But, to do it with Pokemon, obviously it didn't introduce all the Pokemon, which would have been amazing if it did. But, it's still an amazing, amazing game. And I really hope they can implement a new uh, playstyle with that in mind. It's like a Pokemon Conquest 2, dude. Oh my gosh. I've never been to the part where they actually get the legendaries. So, I can't wait to open that story mode. I'm actually doing that on my personal time. On my personal DS. So, we'll see how that goes. But, here comes the Gigantamax Gengar. Oof, alright. Yo, Crispy, thank you for the like. Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? We're over here trying to take out this uh, Gigantamax Gengar here. And defeat the Champions Tournament. Oh, I'll make the Pokemon have sex later. They'll be uh, breeding me some shiny Pokemon soon. But that's for another time. Right now we're battling Pokemon. Oh yeah man, this game is pretty freaking dope. The graphics and the way they've designed all the new stadiums and stuff, it's pretty awesome. But the storyline in this game really sucks. It, it takes a, a lot away from the game. That's why I'm kind of glad they have DLCs to add on to the lack of story they built in the original game. Challenger Joe has done it again. What a performance. He sells right through. 
crumbs. That was ace. G give it your best out there. I I'm mad about strong trainers. Our seemingly unstoppable challenger is headed for the final round. Who will he meet there? Will it be I pass on Dynamax Piers or Dragon Lord himself, Ryan? The next match will decide it, so don't go far from your screens. Alright. Whoa! Raihan gloriously defeats Pierce. Alright guys, looks like we got the Master of Destruction, Sand Team all the way. Ryan is gonna go ahead and be our opponent for the next round. Piers, if you would just Dynamax your Pokemon, I mean, the game would open up so much more for you. But understandably, some people just don't like the gimmick. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and leave Balsam up front. Well, do we do that? Now, nah, we're gonna go ahead and switch out uh, Shelly. Due to him liking to run a sand team. But you know, honestly, I think in uh, the champions tournaments and singles, he runs a sun team. Who will earn the right to battle Leon? Will it be the rising star, challenger, Joe? Or will it be only the trainer that champion Leon calls his rival, the tamer of dragons, Ryan? The dude has no fucking dragons on his team, so there's no reason they call him the tamer of dragons. Yeah, this dude's fucking annoying. He's apparently a dragon type trainer, but he has rocks and ground type Pokemon more than his dragon types. And then he runs a sun team. Like, what kind of shit is that? What, what dragon benefits from sun? Sun does not weaken ice type moves, so I, I just don't get it. Yeah, I, I remembered now it's the Sun Team, but even then, his Sun... Yeah, his shit just doesn't make no sense. He's a Dragon Trainer. Who runs Sand Teams and Sun Teams, and that neither benefits his Dragons at all. Like, I, I would get Sand if he had, like, a Mega Garchomp. But he doesn't. He has a fucking Flygon. It just doesn't make no sense. But that is neither here nor there. The game is what it is. Flygon goes for the Earthquake. Shouldn't do too much damage. Oh, and it actually does quite a bit. It does about a third, but that is because of the critical hit. Icy Wind comes off, though. And does a good chunk, I'm sure. Oh, it survives on one. No Focus Sash needed. It just was built that way. But we're going to go ahead and heal up just, you know, to maximize our health bar for the rest of the battle. Yeah, Flygon is a badass Pokemon. But, um, I think Game Freak missed out on giving it the correct typing. It certainly looks like a Dragonfly. So it could have been... Bug Dragon and would have been the first Bug Dragon ever. But they made it uh, Dragon Ground instead. Do a split? I don't think I have the capabilities of doing that. <laughs> I can eat a banana split. But that's pretty much it. And even then, I don't really care for sweets. Okay. He's going to send out something. I, I didn't exactly see what it was. Okay, I figured it was Gudra, but we do have uh, the move to take care of this thing. Icy Wind comes off and smacks the Gudra, but doesn't do much. It does lower its speed, though, and it switches the, the weather. We're going to go 
ahead and switch out here to champ. Oh, and Gudra goes to surf. Very interesting play there. And that does a good amount of damage to Champ. Luckily, it does not knock us out. We're going to go back to Shelly, hoping it goes for the Surf again. But that was a very interesting move on his part. And it goes for Muddy Water. So it has Muddy Water, Surf, Rain Dance. So we're pretty safe to just keep clicking Icy Wind here. And due to our special attack boost, it does a lot more. Goes for Rain Dance again, but Icy Wind should be able to knock it out. Kind of wish it could have hit us with another Wild type move to make our special attack double. Because it certainly needs to be done versus uh, the Duraludon. Keep current Pokemon in, and he goes for Turdinator. Turdinator. Haha. <laughs> so we're gonna go for the Earth Power here. And plus one should smack this thing, and it does. Shelly grew to level 61. Duraludon comes in here. And we're going to Gigantamax, Dynamax here and smack this thing into the next dimension with the Max Quake. Alright, so Duraludon Gigantamax is here. And Gastrodon should gi Dynamax here as well. But Duraludon seems to be faster. We should be able to take any hit it decides to go for. And Max Quake should almost knock it out. So it goes for Max Knuckle to boost its attack, but I really strongly feel it's a special attacker. But no skin off my nutsack. Max Quake, here we go. Yeah, he did selfie mid battle. What a douche. And the critical hit on the Max Quake takes this bitch out. And his cocky ass goes down. Alright, Gym Leader Ryan goes down. Challenger Joe seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you've ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Just don't let Uncle Rico catch you. Keep up the momentum. Prove Leon's not unbeatable. Number 43, Challenger Joe has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. <laughs> All right, the big moment's finally here, eh? I came just to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, the showdown is between my big bruh and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Rillaboom. Stupid fuck, you're not battling. Right, you reckon I should cheer Joe too, don't you? 
I agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in post week. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'd be you, mate. Rillaboom. Oh, I should give him a Jamaican action, right? A Rillaboom, man. Nah, it's, that was racist. I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. If I remember correctly, he leads... He leads... Aegis Slash, so we should be good to lead Shelly the Shiny Shellos. We'll just have to find out. Excuse him, moi. Hey Jeremy, the volume's pretty good, right? Uh, I'm not, my music's not too loud. I know it's freaking two hours in, but I just had to ask. The tent's still there on pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience. Cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. I... It can fill you with fear knowing that, but... I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving everything I've got as a trainer. And seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their balls. Uh, po po Pokeballs. Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leo. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. All right, beautiful, Jeremy. Just making sure. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What's on the big screen? Of course, <clears throat> interrupting our big match. Lee Joe. What the fuck is going on here? The video stream. That was the Hamelock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve the problem a thousand years into the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized that the chairman didn't need to do this before it came to this. I'll take responsibility for now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. I did like seven different accents within that. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you got lost along the way? I want to help my brother Drew. I've got to go. But I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help could I ever be? Just try. But what? I can't even do. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest days. And that thing there was the sky went all dark once ages and ages ago, right? Well, what does it mean? He's bringing the, that to bow? <clears throat> and where do you even hear the name? Statue of Heroes. Statue of Heroes? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hop talks way too fucking much. Slumber and Wield. Yeah. Let's go to Slumber and Wield. Yeah, I'm kind of sick of the chairman's shit, too. What'd you say, boy? What'd you say? Damn, boy. It's not that serious. Oh man, I'm over here trying to bring it to stop the darkest days from happening. You're talking about Rocket League? Hey, look, our mom is on the screen.
the chairman has become a giant douchebag. You're right about that, Jeremy. Damn it! <clears throat> I was trying to avoid that. Okay. You know, if I happen to stay up late enough, I might actually play that Rocket League everyone's been talking about. I've seen it played, I just never played it. I'm gonna swap to... I'm gonna swap to El Toro. <clears throat> get out of my way. I'm trying to get to the darkest days. He's got a dime loaded up and trucking. He's gonna do what they say can't be done. I'm gonna stroll through slumber and wheel. And get the shiny shield. I mean, the rusted shield. I don't give a fuck what you're trying to say. I don't like the... The song from the slumbering wheel either. That stupid wolf thing. Oh. It's like, what the fuck is that? All right, we got Thick Boy here. Zen Headbutt. Mm! Yeah, Weezing is physically defensive. I should have thought of that. But it's Air Toro's time to shine, baby. Give him a little screen time. Skadoosh. Weezing goes down. Damn, everyone getting level 60 except that one guy. Ooh, life orb. Life orb, sheer force. Don't mind if I fucking do. And if you're wondering where I'm getting my, uh, my fucking, uh, what do you call it? If you're wondering where I'm getting my Scottish accent from, or Irish accent, or whatever accent you think I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm getting it from, uh, Over the Hedge. No, not Over the Hedge. Um, Open Season. A fucking squirrel, right? He's he's Irish or Scot Scottish? I think Scottish. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> if the chairman was a Dragon Ball Z character, it'd be Yamcha. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I know Yamcha's the one who self-destructs all the time. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Look, Muna, I'm gonna have to ask you to get the fuck out of the way. Mega horn, baby. Mmm. Muna went down. Shorty got low. Shorty got low, 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 low. Oh my god, what is this? Get away from me, Corviknight. I got places to go. We should do people to see. Items to grab, honestly. Ooh, Phantom Force. Ooh, Elixir. Ooh, 
smoke ball. All that for that. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came in here. No, it's not. First time we came in here, we didn't even get past that first part. Ooh, look at the legendary doggies. Oh, the fog went away. What in the world are you doing? Get the fuck away from these dudes. Here we go. Hopefully we can finish out this goddamn story that doesn't exist. Skip the cutscene. Come on. This is like a Zelda Breath of the Wild cutscene, too. It's cool. I like it. And didn't that new Zelda game come out? I, I don't have the money to get it right now, but I certainly want to. Ooh, gold dot. Just pick it up. Ah, damn it. Alright, you got the rest of shield. Congratulations. Let's move on with our fucking lives. Hop, can you just pick up the goddamn sword? Thank you. Oh, he doesn't stop talking. Head to Hammerlock Stadium. Ugh, it would. Head to Hammerlock Stadium. Miss me with that Pokemon shit. <clears throat> man, that fog is chasing us, man. Look at that shit. It's like I'm playing fucking Fortnite and running away from the storm. Skirt, skit, skirt, skirt. Back. Stop, wait a minute, get the fuck out this forest, it's stupid as shit. Oh yeah, it really is. Oh, that's interesting. So Age of Calamity is actually a prequel. Oh man, that, that complicates the fucking storyline then. Oh yeah, that's right. The 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 fucking uh, the guy is here at this place. You got to go into that secret ele elevator thing.
Alright, Rion, Ryan, or whatever the fuck your name is, thank you for moving. I don't have time to talk to you, ho. I'm not trying to stream Fortnite. I, I really want to get this done. At this point, after I, hopefully I can finish this game and then call it a night. But this story goes on and on and on. They really waited till the last fucking second to do it too. They had all game to implement story, and they waited till the very last second to put it in. And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the darkest days. What are you talking about? Stopping the darkest days. I'm here preventing it. <sighs> no, you're not, Rose. You're the bad guy. You just don't see it yet. This is uh, a Matilda moment. He's like, I'm big, you're small. You're little, I'm tall. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I'm prepared this time, you fucking hoe. Get your excavator. <laughs> Escavalier. I know. I'm being stupid. <clears throat> Nares! You better be. Or Nares, sorry. You better be watching, brother. You want your birthday shout out at midnight? You better be watching. I'll give it to you. You just gotta be commenting. Let me know what time zone you're in and stuff like that. Cling Cling is going down. Yeah, basically, Jeremy. You know, if I do end up streaming something after this, I will take a quick brief break in between streams. So I will end this stream before I stream anything else. But we still got a little ways to go before I try to do anything else. I think I still gotta beat Rose, go back to the tournament, beat Leon. No, I gotta beat Rose, I gotta beat Eternus with the help of, I think, no, you know, I think Eternus is post-game. I don't know, I, it's been a long time since I've actually been able to get this far in a, in a Nuzlocke. So we'll just have to find out together. And of course, you can always rely on Charizard to whoop up on a Steel Team. Not Sil Team. Uh, Sil Team 6 might kick our ass. <clears throat> Maybe not in real life though, right? Put some armor plating on Charizard. He can't get shot. I'll show you a move that hits so hard, speech will leave you speechless. Uh oh. Does he have two Pokemon left? I do not expect Gigantamax right now. Holy fucking shit. 
Okay, so Terrence is next. I'm not losing my goddamn mind. Oh, Cop Roger doesn't go down. Please don't go for a rock move. Max Mindstorm. Oh. Pfft. All day, baby. All day. I don't even need a Dynamax against you, you weak ass hoe. Get the fuck off my screen. Very easy. I defeated Chairman Rose. I'd forgotten how great the Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I've battled. That sure was satisfying. He gave me money. He's a bad guy, and he gave me money. Most impressive, Joe. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever. To grace our beloved Galar region. Uh, I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. And I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened in Turnus. But we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me. Even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches. But I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternus by now. But if you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how your champion is doing. Discouraged. You didn't get it, do you, German? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you've organized. <laughs> Chairman Rose. More like Chairman Hose. Or more like Chairman Nose. Holy shit, no one ever thought of that. <clears throat> oh, this is where we get the legendary, right? So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try not to battle with the legendary. But, you know, you ain't got no choice. You ain't got no choice. Ooh, we got Moo Moo Milk. It builds strong bones. Oh my god. Capture taken. Mmm, yeah, look at that sexy dragon. You came to help me in spite of my danger. Thanks, Hop and Joe. You two really have grown tremendously, but no. No need for you kids to worry. I don't like when the fucking protagonist actually takes part in the fucking story. So, get the fuck out of here, because this is Pokemon Galar region style. Now shut the fuck up, Leon. We're taking this thing on with you, whether you like it or not. You already made us go out of our way to complete this story. This fool... Through a goddamn Pokeball at Eternus. Yeah, bruh. <clears throat> you need a stronger ball than that. Leon, most powerful skilled trainer in the fucking world, tries to catch a goddamn alien dragon with a Pokeball. Fucking ridiculous. Can you believe that shit? That's the kind of shit that pisses you off. Oh, I can't throw a ball? Dragon Breath. Ooh, Eternus is a fat bitch. Ooh, but it's paralyzed. Oh, it goes for flamethrower all day. 
like a snack ate it up. Paralyzed, can't move. That's what you get. <clears throat> Ooh, it turns into the red and it's paralyzed. Am I still not able to throw a goddamn Pokeball? You're goddamn right, Christian. It is a type of shit. Yeah, little I can't talk. It is a type of shit that wrestles your jimmies. I can't throw. That's fucking lame. Dragon Breath. Just end it. What you got going on tonight, Christian? I see you've been popping in and out. Oh, that bitch fell. We're playing Skyrim. We just killed a dragon. What the fuck is this? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. With your right hand or your left hand? Yeah, Jeremy, I saw that too. That shit was stupid. Whoa. I don't remember this at all. But yeah, Christian, right hand or left? I want to know. Ooh, the helicopter. You're going to be swapping both hands. Gotcha. That's an expert technique, so I hope you're ready for it. Um, I'm not sure if a Pokemon death counts here. In a Nuzlocke format, because, uh... It's a Gigantamax. What the fuck? I don't know what's going on here. I forgot we found a sword and shield in the slumbering wield. What does that have to do with anything? We gotta hit this thing. Joe, use the shield. It might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. I got it. All right, Christian, you got yourself a deal. Whatever tamales I didn't eat, I'll give to you. So you can show me how the helicopter works. Ah, oh, shit. It's getting real. The Dogos have been summoned. Oh shit. God damn, boy. Oh, man. They just went Super Saiyan. Are they different genders? I haven't realized. some help from the legendaries here.
There's only two genders. Sorry, Christian. Don't mean to burst, bubble buddy. Bubble buddy. And SpongeBob. But there's only two. interesting well there you go crispy you can blame Japan for only giving two genders to these Pokemon is your grandma an attack helicopter because that's what I identify as Flare. I wonder what happens if one of these Pokemon get knocked out. Get that prayer. Yeah, get that prayer, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Her pronouns are enchilada and donkey punch. See, that's how I know you're for real. I will I I apologize to your grandma enchilada. And I hope her donkey punch or I hope donkey punch is good as well. Held up champ just in case y'all think this is this this game doesn't warrant the death to be false here in this raid battle. Be paired, don't move. Leave my champ alone. My pronouns are sexy AF. If you don't call me sexy AF, you're racist. Not counting it. This is bullshit. Um, do you need it permanently? Because I have yet to um, complete sword all the way through so I kind of need it too <laughs>
What ball do I catch it in? So much pressure. Fuck it. Love ball. Yeah, this this will literally be my first time beating Shield, cause Shield is like my uh, secondary playthrough game. So anything I try to do, like secondarily, I, I've been doing it on Shield, and I've yet to actually get to the ending of it. This is actually my first time getting this far. The closest I got to was with Morgan. And I lost to Rose, and I had to restart. Hey, Crispy, what you drinking to be so crazy over there? I mean, I'll definitely play through Sword again eventually. <sighs> but hopefully not for a while. I've already played through it. What? One with Morgan. One on my own. And then this. Back to back to back. I normally don't play Pokemon games. This. This back to back. Honestly. So, I'm kind of burnt out on Pokemon. That's why I really want to do another playlist, a play playthrough through something else. I mean, I have Sword, but that's my main, so I don't really do anything. Oh, she pissed herself. Look at that. What? The bad guy actually went to the cops? Okay. We finally got through a bunch of that stuff. Oh, what's left? What do I gotta do now? Oh, one more match. One more match. Can I finally... Making my way downtown to Winden Stadium. Close the fridge right. Huh? No, to get the pineapple soda. <clears throat> Make sure it's closed, close. Just go push it an extra chance. <clears throat> An extra time. Alright, guys. It seems we are at the ending point almost. We just gotta fight Leon. I believe. And that will complete our Nuzlocke. Or egg lock, I should say. It's been a very long stream. And I knew one hour wasn't going to do it. So. Whew, everyone's cheering for us. Let's not disappoint. Again, that Charizard death does not count. I don't care what anyone says. That was a Dynamax battle. Pure story. Had nothing to do with skill or anything. So, let's do a brief overview of the mons we're taking into our final battle. Alright, we have Champ the Charizard holding the charcoal to keep the grill going all night long. Then we have Sprout the Venusaur with the black sludge to stay fat and keep going we have Bolsom the Sylveon yes Nick Painter I do got a YouTube it is also Zamora Gaming uh, all one word um, that's where I load my uh, my videos and stuff so if you scroll down Zamora Gaming news feed here on Facebook you will see a link to my YouTube channel so you can always go there, like and subscribe. All my past videos are there, the ones I actually recorded, because I did forget to record some. So <clears throat> there's that. But I do have videos that are not streams that I do upload there. 
Um, we have Bolsum the Sylveon, named after uh, Nerys, holding the amulet coin because she be making that money, shaking that money maker. Then we got Shelly the Shiny Shellos, the tongue twister of a starter that we just got. Well, we, we got it at the very fucking beginning. Thanks to Zack. Gastrodon, Shiny, with Pokey Rust, holding that leftovers, giving, you know, no, I mean, not everyone has Pokey Rust, apparently. I guess only the Pokemon have been in the party the longest. God damn, that's another fucking tongue twister. And then we have Alice the Luxray, the original booty shaker, holding a magnet. Because... She's electric. Boogie, oogie, oogie. Man. It's been a long road. But we're finally here. And all of y'all should leave a like. All of y'all should share. All of y'all should follow. To show the amazing, amazing support that y'all have shown me. Into this. God long 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 journey it's been about two months at least all right joe 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 leon leon leon's our champion beat him champion don't give up joe all right it is officially time we are here and if you are watching on YouTube, please come over to my Facebook um, page. Link is in the description below. I need 19 more followers to reach the 100 follower limit. Well, not limit, but, you know, criteria. So if you on fa on YouTube would love to help on YouTube... Uh, if you people on YouTube would love to help on Facebook... I would be much appreciated and I'm sure I could do a giveaway of some sort to accommodate for everyone you know spending some time and giving me some love here on Facebook but let's begin my matches are always sold out but this I've never seen a crowd this wild everyone knows what you did for us this week Joe they know that you're the one who caught Eternus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Oh, this arrogant fucker. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, Crushing you in the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Don't you want to just fucking kick him in the nuts? Come on, Joe. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No. A match that'll change Galar's forever. You're going to have to absolutely champion time. Oh, you're going to have an absolute champion time. Don't worry, Norris. You're here for the most important part. <clears throat> you were challenged by Champion Leon. Champion Leon sent out Aegislash. And the challenger sent out Champ, the Charizard. Both are able to Dynamax here. It's one of my duties as champion to get the crowd fired up. All right, this is the battle we've all been waiting for. A 6v6, Leon versus Joe Zamora. Let's see what we have in store for this battle. All right, guys. Charizard is up against this age of slash we're gonna go ahead and go for an amazing flamethrower here and see what happens of course he's in defensive form so this might not take it out and it hangs on a super effective hit 
I expect nothing less from your team. Balsam is still here, Norris. Oh, and he goes for a shadow ball. And it does just under half. So we hang on and we can go for a flamethrower here. Oh, but he goes for a full restore. Oh, Nick Painter, I'm going to do more than throat chop him. I'm going to chop him in the throat. I know it's the same thing. I was do. Oh, and this time it takes out the Age of Slash. All right, guys. We gained some levels. And Dragapult's coming out now. So, Bolson comes out. <laughs> uh, Norris, wasn't this your EV that you sent in as well? Alright, but Dragapult's coming in here. And this is the game we're playing, so we're just gonna go all out for the Moonblast. Not gonna over predict here. Moonblast goes off. And Dragapult goes down with one hit. Ooh, Balsam and Sprout leveling up. Champion Leon is about to send out Haxorus. Oh, Balsam's staying in, baby. Balsam's gonna eat his ass. Haxorus has Mold Breaker. Draining Kiss is gonna come off. Haxorus goes with the Iron Tail, and it's super effective. But Balsam hangs on with 12 HP. Amazing for a super effective hit. Oh boy, Draining Kiss comes back and hits Haxorus hard. All right, Balsam was lucky to live that hit. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out to Champ here. Hopefully it went for Iron Head again. I mean, Iron Tail. And we live it. So, Dragon Breath here. Oh, and it comes off and takes down the Haxorus. So, he's level 63, so we are on par with the champion. <clears throat> Mr. Ram comes in. Should we stay in? Let's see, if we switch out, there's not much we could go to. So it looks like we have to stay in here. <sighs> so the question is, do we heal or do we attack? And we're going to heal. Because the Psychic doesn't knock us out. He's only one level above us. But it will put us back in range. Oh, it goes for Thunderbolt. That's not stabbed, though. Okay. So it puts us back down where we were. Let's go ahead and heal up again. Okay, let's see what Thunderbolt does now. He has three Pokemon left. We don't have a Pokemon that can really take a Thunderbolt. Either. You know what? Shelly the Shiny Shellos, come out. If he has Freeze Dry, it's just a good fucking move on his part. But I don't know, Norris. I don't want to. I don't want to test that <laughs> theory. Gonna go for the muddy water, and he does have freeze dry. Oh, Shelly goes down. Our starter has fainted in this final battle. So we're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit here with Champ. Let's go ahead and flamethrower. Charcoal 
Stab boosted. Oh, Mr. Ryan take, gets taken down. His special defense is really high, so I was really worried about that. I kind of wasted Gastrod on there. I didn't mean to, but I, I had to play it safer than sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to stay in there. And we lost. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and go El Toro here. We're going to kind of sack El Toro. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Oh, a critical hit. That's bogus. Alright, so this champion has knocked us down two Pokemon. And we're kind of at half health with the others. We can't see what Pokemon he has left. So we're just gonna have to focus on the Petal Blizzard here. Dark Pulse doesn't do nearly enough damage. And Inteleon ends on! He is in the red. We're gonna have to go ahead and Petal Blizzard again. Nightshot doesn't do much more than Dark Pulse did. And Petal Blizzard goes off. Man, and Sprout was just there. Alright, guys. I think it's time. His Charizard has a hell of a lot more health than mine. But we are here. Charizard versus Charizard. What more epicness could you want? I'm not even gonna heal, baby. Let's just go for it. Max Airstream. Risk it for the biscuit. Speed tie all the way. I mean, if worst comes to worse, I have to hope Alice can win us the game from here. It all comes down to the speed tie. Gigantamax Charizard versus Dynamax Charizard. Who's going to pull out the win? <clears throat> I'm really regretting wasting the uh, Gastrodon when I did. All right, so we get the speed boost. Oh, and he goes for Max Rockfall. We were not prepared. So Charizard, <clears throat> let's see here, let's go ahead and go for Toxic, I mean I think it's gonna knock us out with Max Airstream, yeah. It's coming down to the wire. Hey, all I gotta say is this. Um, Leon is not disappointing. Alright, we got Calm Bolsom here. We should be 
able to live a special attacking move? Oh, big time! Awesome! We got the shadow ball off on it. And I think Bolsom wins us the battle here. With the shadow ball. We should be able to live anything. I mean, live to max rockfall, right? Nope. Mm. I guess it could not live a fire blast. It all comes down to Alice. Here we go, guys. It's all on the table now. Fire Blast is going to come off. And we got a spark for the win. We hang on with 24. We hang on with 24. And Spark takes it down. Spark takes down the Charizard. And we win the Nuzlocke. That was the last Pokemon left. Luxray was the last Pokemon. He was the savior of the earth. I knew we needed him to stay at full health, and we defeated Leon to become the best champion in the whole entire world. That is it, guys. This Nuzlocke is over. And thanks to Luxray, we have beat Pokemon Shield. Oh man, now it's, you know, that was it. Oh. All right, guys, here we go. We won the lock. We came down to the very last Pokemon. We had a great squad of six. I really feel Charizard versus Charizard. Our Charizard could have won if it was at full health. But, you know, it wasn't in the cards. I kind of... I kind of, uh... I kind of wasted the Gastrodon there. And, you know, we did it, though. We, we came through. We wasted the Gigantamax turns. We fought it off who we needed to fought her off. And... The team came through. If he would have went for Max Flare instead of Max Rockfall, we lost that lock. But he did it. We won. So we finally won a Nuzlocke stream, guys. We lost our well. We tied versus Morgan because. I don't know if y'all have seen that yet, but if y'all have not seen it, go watch that playthrough and you'll see how we tied it. Um, it was a rival lock, of course. Um, we lost our last lock, mainly because it was kind of over once we lost most of our team to Ryan, or Raihan, or whatever. And um, we came in with the full squad. We came in prepared and ready to go. And we won. Bolsom did come in clutch. Alice obviously saved our lock. And we did it, guys. I appreciate everyone's help. I appreciate everyone who sent in Pokemon. I appreciate everyone who followed, liked, subscribed, shared, and got us to 81 followers from our 64 that we started with before this uh, stream started. Well, series of streams so this playthrough and yeah guys I mean it was it was an amazing amazing playthrough came down to the wire you could you can't write something you can't script it like that I mean it just it played out perfectly and we won guys <clears throat> so like I said I'm glad we can uh, get through this playthrough tonight it, it took uh, three hours but we did it um, share the playlist series from my youtube channel if you can because e every video is there from sequence the ones it was like two or three videos I didn't get to record 
<clears throat> so there's that but share that series share this stream share whatever you feel please leave a like please leave a follow if you're just here joining us for a little while i assure you i have many more streams and fun games to play not just pokemon that you will enjoy so i mean that's pretty much it for me from here guys so all i can say is thank you guys for watching enjoy the finalization of the credits and i will see you guys next time